Hey Eco Friends, Abigna here with an easy and versatile recipe for roasted spaghetti squash. If you've never had spaghetti squash before, you're in for a treat because it looks just like noodles when cooked. It's so easy and really helps to cut down on those carbs. Trust me, I love pasta and rice just as much as the next vegan, but sometimes I feel like they make me really tired and sleepy. So this is a great way to carb my cravings. Get it? Uh... So you can cook this squash by roasting, microwaving, or even boiling it. My favorite method is roasting it because it kind of transforms the flavor and makes it a little bit nuttier. Yum! So that's what I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so here's the trick that I did not do, but I really should have done for this video. Seeing as the skin is super tough, prick it with a knife several times and be careful and place it in the microwave for about five minutes just to soften it. You really do have to prick it though because if you just place it in the microwave without doing that, it's gonna explode and you don't want that kind of mess. So uh, as you can see, I forgot to do that and so I had to use a little bit more elbow grease, but um, that was okay. I like to cut off the end so that I have some grounding and then I can stand it up right so that I can just rock my knife back and forth until it cuts all the way through. So, there we have it. So just like butternut squash, you'll have to scoop out those seeds. If you watch my butternut squash soup video or my roasted seeds video, you'll see that these seeds are actually significantly larger than those. However, they're still totally edible and once roasted can be a delicious guilt-free snack. So go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already. You'll just need to roast them slightly longer in order for them to get crunchy. Okay, so back to the spaghetti squash. Brush on a little olive oil and sprinkle on some salt and pepper or any other seasonings you might prefer. Uh, sometimes I do Cajun seasoning here and it's delicious. Lay them cut side down and roast them for about 40 to 45 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to use a silicone mat on my baking tray just because it helps to catch all the juices and it's very easy to clean. Now let cool for just a few minutes and then use a fork to scrape out the squash. At this point, it should really come out easily and be stringy and noodly, just like regular pasta. So it's really up to you to decide how you want to flavor it up. You can use some good old marinara and vegan meatballs. Make it into a deliciously hearty salad bowl with other roasted veggies and some beans, or even use it in place of noodles in Asian dishes like pad thai. So many options to choose from because this squash is very versatile, as I said, and has a subtle flavor. So you can really use it any way you want. I, of course, love using some of that spinach and artichoke pesto of mine, which I'll link the video to. And Dressing this up with a couple of beautiful cherry tomatoes. Mmm, -mm, good. Vegan cheese, yes please. That would be a great idea, although I did not do that here. You can store this in the fridge for a couple of days and it will absorb the flavors that you put into it. Uh, but I think it's best eaten fresh and right out of the skin, which you can use as a bowl. <laughs> Double duty, it's pretty great. If you love winter squash, give this video a big thumbs up and share with a friend. If you would like to see more videos like this, please comment below and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell next to it so that you're notified every time that I post a new one, which is now every Friday. Till next time, bye!